This is the third video in our radical series, and this is on adding and subtracting radicals. Look at this problem. 2 radical 5, or 2 times the square root of 5, plus 4 times the square root of 5. It seems kind of logical that if we want to add 2 radical 5 plus 4 radical 5, all we need to do is look at the 2 and the 4 and add those together and get 6 radical 5. And that's exactly what you do when you add these. These are like radicals, just like 2a and 4a are like terms, and we're allowed to add those together and get 6a. When you have like radicals, you just deal with the coefficients, you add those together, and your radical stays the same. So adding and subtracting, pretty simple. Negative 8 radical 3 plus 12 radical 3, these are identical radicals, so all we're going to do is deal with those coefficients. Negative 8 plus 12 gives us 4 radical 3. Now you look at this, 5 radical 3 plus 12 radical 2. These are not identical radicals, therefore you cannot simplify them. This is it. That's the best you can do on this. There was really no work to that problem at all. So you can only add or subtract identical radicals, and you add or subtract the coefficients of the like radicals. The radical itself does not change. Now with that rule in mind, you may look at a problem like this and say, well, I can't simplify it because these are not like radicals. But the real story is you must take each radical and simplify it before you decide if you can add or subtract. So looking at this problem, we're going to have to do a tree. Looking at this, we're going to have to do a tree and get them each individually simplified and then look at the adding. So here's the trees on both of those. 18 goes to 6 times 3. 3 is prime, I circled it. 6 breaks into 2 times 3. 50 I broke is 5 times 10. 5 is prime. And then 10 breaks into 5 times 2. Once you have those tree-wise, you can then look at the fact that, okay, here's a pair of 3s. So you know that's a 3 that's going to come out with a 2 left over, with the 5 staying all the way outside. On the 50, you had a pair of 5s, so a 5 is going to come out, a 2 is going to stay in. So with this, here's our 5 coming down. Our pair of 3s is what brought a 3 outside, and there's a leftover 2. Same reasoning over here. Here's the 2 coming down. We have a pair of 5s, so 5 comes out and 2 stays in. With this, 5 times 3 radical 2, we're just going to do 5 times 3. Here, we're going to do 2 times 5. So this gives us 15 times the square root of 2. This gives us 10 times the square root of 2. And now, after all that simplifying, we recognize that these are identical radicals, and therefore we can put the coefficients together and get 25 times the square root of 2. Here's the bottom line on these radicals. You must simplify each radical first. And then, if you have identical radicals, combine the like terms. Otherwise, just leave your answer as is. 10 radical 12 minus 2 radical 27. First thing I have to do is get these individual radicals simplified by doing a tree. There's the trees. 12 I broke is 4 times 3. 3 is prime, so it stayed. 4 broke into 2 times 2. 27 I broke is 9 times 3. That 3 is prime. Had to break the 9 into 3 times 3. Then I get to simplifying. Here's a 10. That's the coefficient staying out front. I had a pair of 2s. That's why I have that 2, and I have a leftover 3. Over here, here's the coefficient 2 coming down. Here's a pair of 3s, so that's why that 3 is there, and then I have a leftover 3. Simple multiplying right here is going to give me 20 radical 3 minus 6 radical 3. These are now identical radicals, which says, yes, I may combine those. Subtract 20 minus 6 gives me 14 radical 3. This last problem will show you that just because you do some simplifying in the beginning does not automatically mean there's going to be some like terms at the end. You just don't know until you get it simplified. So let's do our tree on both the 24 and the 20. It's 24 is 6 times 4, and then here's our primes. 20 is 5 times 4, and here's our primes. So let's now write things as radicals. Here's our 5 coefficient. I have a pair of 2's, and that's why that 2 is there. I have a leftover 2 times 3, that's where the 6 comes in. Here's my coefficient of 2, 
I have a pair of twos, so a two comes out, and a leftover five. I can multiply the five times the two and the two times the two, which gives me 10 times the square root of six minus four times the square root of five. And they are not like terms. That's it. We had to do the simplifying to be able to find out if we were going to be able to add or subtract. So that's adding and subtracting radicals. Pretty simple. If you have like radicals, add them together. If not, you better simplify and then see if you can add them together. And sometimes you just can't add them together.